Francisco, Miller, Georgia, the town that I grew up in. The story is about the people who had lived here all of their adult and some of them young lives. And this is their story. Meet former mayor Mary Jo Hayward, the first black woman to be elected mayor of the town of Camilla, Georgia. The first achievement was being mayor of Camilla, a woman mayor of Camilla, a black mayor of Camilla, which was an achievement within itself. Camilla is known for its poetry, agriculture, cotton, peanuts, and pecans. And this day that's different from when so you were here and when we were young, other businesses you had to depend on these really because of mobility and having access to them. Now in this mobile society, Camilla itself doesn't have to be the one that supports the people who live here. Tell me what's so great about Camilla? Well you get you, you know you know everybody, you know your neighbors and stuff, you you and you you know it ain't a high crime area, you know you can kind of raise your children, you know, but that you know, too much, uh, you know, crime and whatnot, you know, just a nice place to, to live, you know, especially to raise a family. Now, you went to Camilla Consolidated School. Yes, yes. And what year did you graduate? 1965. Now, what did you think of your class in 1965? They was, they was good classmates. You were one of the special ones. <laughs> Why should somebody want to move to Camilla? Just a nice place to be. Nice place to be. You know. And uh, how's the school system? School system good. School system. But I went to Vietnam and I, I was a, a cook in the, in the army. It was good because I went to Vietnam and that's what made it good for me to be a cook. Over a hundred years ago, this is where black women came to have their babies. They was delivered by a lady by the name of Miss Beatrice Borders. This is where the majority of black people was born. And this center been here for over a hundred years, founded by Miss Beatrice Borders. Let's go meet some of the past graduates having a high school class reunion at the tailgate party. This is my class. This is where I graduated. This is where I got my stepping stone. Just coming out here and enjoying my classmates and just, just uniting with each other. Enjoying each other. What class did you graduate from? Class of 1963. At this alumni, yeah. communicate with the people, enjoy them. To see the ones that I haven't seen for years, enjoy them. What is so great about the marriage? Well, beautiful people, beautiful surrounding, and I would, I would rather be nowhere else. But Baker and Camilla, Michigan. People that people have changed. They more unified now than it was in the past. Things are better, opportunities are better. Our grandkids and great grandkids have better opportunities than they did before. It looks like I'm a pretty cook, don't it? <laughs> Class 85. Class 85. What's your name? I'm Wilbur, one of the twins, and I'm Ben Hampton. We're here to commemorate the year of our graduation, 1963, and the fellowship with the other classes in Camilla. Camilla, well, it's just a small town, but but people still, some of them are still together, caring for one another, and supporting one another. What is so great about Camilla? It's a nice, quiet time to live in. People are friendly, and it's just a nice place to live. I'm here celebrating our annual tailgating event for all classes from the class of 1954 at Rockville High School all the way up to this present graduating class of 2024. We say that we talk about the Bible, we talk about people had progress. So, you know, it's, it's just a thankful thing to be here, to be alive, to be here. I'm a class of 77. 
Oh, what brought you out here today? Well, just to, I was here last year. It my, my first time from last year, and I thought I'd come back this year and, and, and uh, do it again. And, uh, what's so great about this alumni? Well, to me, it's like coming back, fellowshipping, seeing people that you haven't seen since we've been out of school. Just, I mean, just to meet and greet. My name is Dr. Carla Henry. I think as long as we are investing in the youth, the Mitchell County alumni today. And what does that mean to you? It means a lot to me. I'm kind of disappointed because all my class is not here. Uh, we had so much unity and love when we were in school and, and all the past years. The love is still there, but I'm, I'm disappointed because of the participation. We also raise money because we also give scholarships to um, Right here to the, to the community, to the school, Mr. County High. So we do uh, give scholarships from the class of 1980. Meet Francis Stahl, one of the oldest citizens that live in Camilla, Georgia. Listen to her story. I'm a hundred years old, pulling corn, I pick cotton. I did housework and then I I got a job at the Commonwealth Center. I worked there seven years. At 20 years old, I I married. And I, I was over there for about four years after I got married. Then I moved, we moved my, my husband moved here to Camilla. Mm -hmm. And I've been living here ever since. So how do you feel today about what the black people is doing? Well, I feel like it's much better than the, the day and it was back there. And how about this for a late life surprise? I had my mama ever said anything about she had some more sisters and brothers, and I told him, yeah, she did. She did tell me she had some. He said, what What did she tell you their names was? And I told him that their, what she told me their names was. And he said, yeah, he said, okay. Older sister Mary, she she began to want to know where was her baby sister them when they left, because they were separated when they were babies. After they were separated for 65 years, and the older sister Mary had an investigator to find out where was her sister, her baby sister and brother. And after 65 years, the investigator found them. And that's when they all got back together. They were reunited, re reunited united back together again. What, what changes has been made in Camilla in all of these years? Like when I was in school, I didn't get a chance to go to school with the white kids because it wasn't integrated. Um, it was still segregated when I was in school. But my sisters and things, they went with, with the white children. I didn't. There's no theaters in Camilla today, is it? No, it's not. But there was one that was there back in the time when I was a young girl. It was a theater, and the theater was right down there beside the uh, Enterprise. It was theaters down there beside the Enterprise. And then you had a drive-in theater on the Newton Highway. It used to be the fair used to come through here all the time, you know? Yep. The fair. Yep. What happened to that fair? I don't know, because uh, we used to go to the fair. But for some reason or other, it it stopped coming, and I don't know what really happened to it. You got a black, you got black mayors down there. How's the mayors doing? Well, the black mayor, you know, to me, I I I I like him. I like him. I think he's doing a good job. I like him. Since he's been in it, they made some improvements on the uh, cemetery. You know, the cemetery used to be with old fences and old stuff, but since he's been in it, they's upgraded and it's looking nice. We are not paying this utility bill. And we're not going to pay these bills until they come down on the rate. Because the city council was in complete control of the rates that was set for utilities. And they could have said, we, we're going to lower them. So we could have done, we could have done better, better with that. Now how many uh, black businesses in Camilla own and operate? I don't 
don't know the exact number, but I'm going to say 10 at the most. Why isn't there more? Well, the people don't have the aggressiveness to, the daringness to go into building business, to trust that they can conceive in business. And a lot of that is just ingrained from centuries and decades of conditioning and blights to believe that they can achieve. <music>